Just cut down like all the names I'm taking of the people. Everybody in 20 years from now will either be a creator or an investor. I'm coffee drinking coffee, so people are watching. क्या इस टाइटल में ऐसी खौफनाक सनसनी टाइप बात है कि नहीं है <laughs> क्या जोमैटो के आखिरी दिन शुरू हो चुके हैं आई न्यू दैट फिनटेक को फंडिंग मिला है ये खर्चा करेंगे <laughs> मैं बन जाता हूँ चैनल पहले मैं बड़ा बीमार हुआ करता था फिर एक दिन मेरी जिंदगी में आई ब्रेकअप जब हो गया तो पूछेंगे तो सही ना था <laughs> and uh, what are your thoughts on that do you think that's the future that's the economy i just told him that you know what i'm intimidated by the thought that what kind of manufacturing you're doing here like whatever this guy is like like you guys are learning here it's so scary that you guys are going to give us a run for a competition right i don't know if we'll be able to sustain what we're doing or no because this is sexy like it's incredibly good so that's sexy. what my thoughts are yeah Sexy is interesting. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I've never used sexy to define Masters Union. <laughs> uh, no, but you know, there's so much to to cover today, um, and I'll only speak for maybe ten, fifteen minutes with you. I'll you know I'll open it up to the audience, but you know, just tell us your story, right? Why did you you know start thinking about YouTube or becoming a creator? Okay. Uh, what was the motivation, and where you stand today, and what you look to do now in the future? Uh, so I'll tell you, uh, I was you know very fascinated by this thought of personal branding. Because I used to always follow, like from day one, like when I was sixteen, fifteen, when I wanted to become an entrepreneur, I wanted to become an entrepreneur because of Richard Branson, Gary Vaynerchuk, Tony Robbins. So these are all like phenomenal personal brands in the world. So I thought personal brand as a concept is very, very good. And then I started building my personal brand offline because I started going to different colleges, different places. I went to UN also to speak, and I started building my personal brand that way. And then I realized that the main juice is online. Okay, like you need to turn entrepreneurs into personal brands in order to scale it up. So this was, I think, 2019 with COVID was coming up, uh, like 20 around, like something like that. So I started calling like all my entrepreneur friends and I started telling them, hey, you know what? You guys are gonna be irrelevant in future. So let me help you help build your personal brand. And they said, ki okay, but how can you build my our personal brand? तेरी खुद की तो है नहीं. <laughs> right, at that time, I was like forty thousand followers at max, and every and no YouTube channel, nothing, only on Instagram. So I started calling like a lot of them, started uh, uh, pitching them a service that I can do your LinkedIn, I can do your Twitter, I can do your YouTube, I can do a couple of things. Most of them said, "Yeah, तू खुद तो बना कुछ तो कर कैसे करे कैसे नहीं करे." And then there were two clients who were ready to pay me, but they were ready to pay me twenty five thousand a month. And I'm like, bro, इसमें मेरा writer भी नहीं आएगा. How will I do this? And that's where the thought was. Let me build my personal brand first, and then maybe I'll start helping other people in this economy. So then I started building my personal brand, and then I realized that I really love making videos because what I was doing initially was I was just going through big as newses of uh, news of money control, Times of India, Economic Times, like really complicated, and I was breaking them into three parts, like three things to know today, three things to know about business, three things to know about this, that, all of that, and I was doing that. and that gave me like a good boost and once i started building my brand i was like wow this is crazy i was like the idea of helping other people let me build my brand itself isme bahut paisa hai so i started doing that and then initially like then eventually as i dropped my business and then gave it to my family family started doing everything i moved to bombay and after moving to bombay i was like how do i scale this up and make this a bigger thing And that's where I started talking to different different entrepreneurs. That's where the podcast happened. So I started talking to entrepreneurs like, how do you scale what you have? And then the initial thought was, whatever you're doing, help other people do the same thing. So instead of do helping founders, I started helping other creators and started my own agency, a creative talent management agency. Once I started doing that, I was like, uh, "Isko or kaise scale kar sakte hain?" So now after doing that, like for six months, seven months of that agency. I completely automated that agency. My other two, two co-founders are running that, and now we're building a platform for creators in the creator economy to revolutionize the backend operations for creator-led brands. So technically, like my whole idea was to how can I actually build personal brand and then help other people make personal brands. But then, then eventually became like how can I make a bigger impact in the creator economy? That was the whole idea, and that's what I did. Interesting. So now, what is the way forward? The way forward for me is I feel manufacturing is getting democratized. 
Okay. Like all the small businesses and manufacturers, they're losing their edge and their price competitive uh, and their price leadership in the market it's because brands are overtaking them. But if you're just a brand, it gets so difficult for you to build a brand because of cost of acquiring a customer. So the ultimate gap is how can you bridge the gap between old manufacturers who have operation excellence versus the new brand builders who are creators. So can you build creator led brands? Mm. But uh, technically, if a creator wants to build their brands, it's going to take them years to figure out what kind of product, what right kind of manufacturer, sourcing, fulfillment, warehousing, shipping, payment gateways, all of that. So I'm going to do all of this. Hmm. So I'm building a platform to revolutionize the entire commerce of how small businesses can map to a few of the creators and creator can start launching their brands very easily just on this one platform with a plug and play option. This is the way forward. Got it. So you first built, a, built out a personal brand for yourself and now you're building out a business. Yeah. Right. So is your personal brand already being built, helping you in the new business that you're trying to 100%. The only reason I'm able to, so I'll tell you, right? I haven't shared my idea with anyone till now. And I have 15 angels backing me up. <laughs> and the only reason why they're backing me, and they've not even asked me for the valuation. They're like, whatever valuation you're raising, 10 million, 20 million, 15 million, whatever you're raising, we are in. Whatever check you need, need. And that's, that has only happened because of the personal brand. So mm -hmm. I feel, A, you get, the right, right connects and people in, want to invest in you because they see you as a leader, like a thought leader in a particular industry. And B, I am not scared about my business because I know that out of my million people, at least 10,000 people will buy something. Like something or the other, right? It's such a sweet position to be at. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel is the future. Like creator-led brands. This is, this is what I said to my co-founder the other day, that everybody in 20 years from now, will either be a creator or an investor. Because once you know that you can make money by doing what you love, you're never going to do anything else. And once you know that other people, you can give them money and they can increase your money, you're never going to start earning anything at all or do any side hustle. So that's why like creators and investors, everybody's going to be that. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel is the way forward. If somebody is not taking this thing seriously, they're going to face so much trouble because here's a, Here's an insight behind that. The entire world now, we all have shifted from intent-based buying to discovery-based buying. So earlier, when I wanted to buy something, I would go and buy that thing because I needed it. Now, if I see some creator talk about it, oh, it's good, I'll buy it. If I see some ad on Google, it's good, I'll buy it. Right? It's discovery-based buying. I don't remember the last time I bought something because I needed it. Most of the things I've bought is because only Oh, somebody was wearing a Jordan, so I wanted, I wanted a Jordan, right? It's a discovery led buying. And discover, where do you discover most of the things? So Through social media. And who are the people on social media? Creators, personal brands. So if you're not somebody who's building brands, who is becoming a platform or a channel or a space for people to discover new things, new ideas, new products, I don't think you will be able to do a very good job in selling your own products. All right. So... So how do you do that? What's the manual? Now, if I decide today that, listen, I want to build a personal brand or I want to build a brand mm -hmm. um, and I want to be, you know, Raj Shumani three years from now, two years from now, how do I start? What is my step-by-step -step process from here on? Number one is, it's very cliche, but you need to pick up a niche. Right? It's very cliche because, the, and the reason is you become everything for someone, not something for everyone. That's the whole idea. So why do I say this? Let's say you getting discovered on YouTube is very difficult. Or I, if I want to get discovered on YouTube, it's very difficult. Let's, for example, you want to start an entrepreneurship podcast, right? Your chances to start from zero is like very, very, you, it's very difficult for you to beat, let's say me and the like 10,000 people who are already doing it as a build their moat already have channel. Right? So what do you do? You go deeper. It's like, let me build a channel to help D2C entrepreneurs. Go more deeper. Do they, are there other channels? Let's say Arjun is building a D2C podcast. Okay. Right? So they're existing. Let's go deeper. Let me help people who are building D2C led businesses in home care category. That's your niche. And then you become everything for that home care category because that home care category itself is a $20 billion opportunity for in India. In 20, by 2025, home care D2C brands are going to be $20 billion. I'm sure there are going to be 10,000 people who want to build those brands, right? So those 10,000 people will be your first movers. Once you, once you have built your moat and your niche around that community, then you start expanding with just like 
getting other people on board. So for example, now you're like a person who builds a brand on, who builds, who, who does content on D2C like businesses in home care category. How can I expand my home care with, uh, let's say, jewelry or lehenga or who is, whoever is my target audience. Let's say my moms are my target audience, so baby products. So you start, you start finding a vertical expansion with your particular niche and that's how you build your bigger niche. Till 100k, that's your journey. Once you have reached 100k, then you go broader. Then you can go probably with like, okay, digital first businesses is one of, digital first buyers is one attract. So D2C brands I want to build. Then you reach 500k, then you go like, oh, now I'm at par with everyone. Let me build the entire ecosystem for entrepreneurship. And that's what I did as well. Mm -hmm. I did news first, then. All right, so you started with news. I started with news, hardcore news. And news maybe, I was obsessed with Ambani's and Adani's, okay? <laughs> so I would just talk about Ambani's, Adani's, Bezos, or Elon Musk, because these are, these are the top four favorites I had. And I would just talk about their news, because their companies are so big that every day there's something new. So I'd talk about news. Then so slowly I started talking about top 100 uh, businesses and stock markets in India. Then I started talking about unicorns. Then I started talking about early age startups. Then I started talking about the entire startup ecosystem. Mm-hmm. So you just built on from there. And now I talk about anything or anything. Now there's no niche. Got it. It's just like, entre- still I think by far my majority of my content is around entrepreneurship and mindset. So Got that's it. YouTube. That's the first step. Second step is, you find a platform and you respect that platform. And what do I mean by respecting the platform? Is if you want your platform to show you everywhere, okay, you need to respect them. And by respecting what I mean, whatever the platform is promoting in the next quarter, do that. Mm. So let's say YouTube right now wants to promote shots. Everyone who wants to build a YouTube channel, forget about everything else, forget about long videos, forget about everything and just, just focus on shots. Just shots, <coughs> nothing else. Let the world say that ki your shots mein bahut begar audience aata hai, niche nahi banta hai, community building nahi hoti. Sab baad mein figure out ho jayega 100k subscribers ke baad, right? Once you have 100k people to just watch you, whatever you say, then you can do it. So that's the second step, you respect the platform. So go read, every year I read annual reports of Meta, of Snapchat, of Google, what are these guys promoting? Because that can give you like a crazy insight. So you know what I did? On Twitter, Twitter wanted to promote threads because what Twitter wanted that every other social media platform is winning the battle by making their users spend more time on their platform. And Twitter didn't have this because Twitter mein jo bhi aata tha, news pad ke, news Kadam, yeah. Yeah, just chale aata tha, right? So Twitter started promoting threads and they were like, we want, we want more people to spend more time. How, what are the ways for you to make out that Twitter pe zyada log dukhenge kaise? Mm. And then one way is writing threats, a long form content. I started doing that. I went from 20,000 to 200,000 in six months. And that was like wild. I didn't expect Twitter to grow this fast. 10 times in six months. 10 10 times in six months. And Twitter is very difficult to grow. It's one of the hardest platforms to grow. Right, so because you respect it, they grow you. Instagram, I did reels. It started TikTok banned, so I started creating reels on Instagram. Then now, there's a hidden platform. I mean, everybody knows it, but everybody overlooked it. Facebook. People think that it's dead, but it's only getting bigger and bigger in regional areas. So now Facebook is struggling to find creators who can create content on Facebook. I started creating content on Facebook. I was zero on Facebook. And in 25 days, we have reached, I think, 60,000 followers from zero. And we are not promoting anywhere because Instagram wala in Facebook wasn't even Right. So now you just try to understand what our platform promoting. Mm. So respect that thing. LinkedIn is going to promote live, uh, LinkedIn is promoting video content and visual content. So if you put pictures on LinkedIn, your, your particular post get more visibility than normal posts, right? So just think about these things. That's how respecting the platform. That's step number two. Then what else can we there? Which platform should I start from? Today? Yeah. <laughs> right. It depends on what you exactly are good at. Are you good at writing? Are you good at, uh, read or like your audio, video or written, like what is the format which comes naturally to you? Because in the beginning for the first 100 days or 100 pieces of content, it's pure play, struggle, nobody's gonna notice you, right? And some people say data optimize, karo, CTR, dekho, kaun sa post perform kar hai. Kaise dekho ke agar so data hoga data hi nahi hoga to. So for 100 things, it's very difficult for you to grow. So I think what comes naturally to you, if video comes naturally to you, then YouTube shots. 
if text come naturally to you twitter threads still i feel twitter is going to have next billionaire uh, like creator unicorns are going to be built on twitter and then the third if you are someone who, oh yeah do you guys know sanskar tv yeah purane zamane dada dadi log dekhte the koi isko follow nahi karta tha but just feeling usko dekhne ki bahut achi aati thi right so that's what i call like motivation has become these days since like modern day sanskar tv so if you are that person who's like truly soft story your telebrands wala ad promote karta hai pehle main bada bimar hua karta tha fir ek din meri zindagi mein aayi agar tumhe aisi stories bahut naturally aati na to linkedin is the platform for you so whatever comes naturally to you you start doing on that platform and then that platform will grow you so that is now second like one more thing is very important for creators okay there are two types of creators relationship there two types of content relationship based content and topic based content okay so let's say topic based content is people are coming to my channel because they are interested in the topic how to make money in 10 days how to pick the right stocks how to find which whether crypto is future or no so people are only coming for the next relevant topic okay and then the other is relationship based content relationship based content is whatever i'm doing people are coming मैं कॉफी पी रहा हूं तो भी लोग देख रहे हैं मेरी बिल्ली पॉटी कर रही तो भी लोग देख रहे हैं राइट यू नो दिस देयर आर चैनल्स एंड ब्लॉग्स दैट पीपल डू दिस सो यू नीड टू आल्सो डिसाइड लाइक व्हाट इज व्हाट आर यू कंफर्टेबल एट आर यू द पर्सन हु इज इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग न्यू टॉपिक्स एंड शेयरिंग दैट विद पीपल और आर यू द पर्सन हु वांट टू बिल्ड अ कल्ट अराउंड योर पर्सनालिटी सो यू चूज दैट एज़ वेल सो रिलेशनशिप बेस्ड कंटेंट का प्रोस एंड कॉन्स बता दो प्रोस इज यू फाइंड इफ यू आर एबल टू डू इट सक्सेसफुली यू बिल्ड सच अ कल्ट that no matter who you are or what you do you're going to have a backup your life gets sorted like regardless of platform mm. youtube bans tomorrow your 10000 people will come find you wherever you go right so that's the best part that's a pro con is it takes longer for you to create relationship based content ka followership but sorry i have a question why do certain people follow certain people like why why does a huge crowd follow let's say saurav joshi because it's a relationship got a relativity okay, okay. So then, why do people follow? Basically, okay, this is what I feel. There are only three reasons why I follow, or most of the people follow anyone. One is aspiration, that they are doing something which I would want to do. They are wearing the kind of clothes which I would want to wear. They are living the kind of life which I would want to live. That's aspiration. Second is information. This guy teaches me something which I don't know, or maybe is going to probably help me because mm-hmm. career related, right? He giving me some information which is keeping me updated with the world. Maybe he's giving me some information which can help me in my life. And third is relatability. This guy gets me. Like that is relationship based content. Sorry, Joshi, this guy gets me. He's my life. Mm-hmm. He's just talking about that. I have given my brother a cycle. Correct. Right. <laughs> That's the one you guys saw. <laughs> yeah, like that. I have given my brother a cycle. Right. Now, if you think about the Bharat, like the seventy percent India, right? Their happiness revolves around these little things. and he's captured that that's what you do you make that relatable content so that everybody connects with you because at the end of the work day what do people want they want either peace laughter or they're frustrated with their life so they want to grow their career and they want to learn new things mm. that's the only thing and that's the only time they're watching something rarely people are watching something at the work and agar wo tumhara content kaam ke time pe dekh rahe hain probably wo right content wo tumhara follower bhi acha nahi hai <laughs> उससे दूर रहना वो इज लाइक हिज नॉट कमिटेड टू एनी थिंग सो लेट्स नॉट यू डोंट नीड दैट पर्सन सो यू थिंक ऑफ हाउ डू आई वांट अ रिलेशनशिप बेस्ड कंटेंट टॉपिक बेस्ड कंटेंट एंड इफ यू वांट बोथ ऑफ दिस कंटेंट देन यू थिंक अबाउट एम आई एंटरटेनिंग एम आई इंस्पायरिंग और गिविंग इंफॉर्मेशन और एम आई बीइंग रिलेटेबल टू दिस पीपल एंड दीस आर द थ्री थिंग्स व्हिच हेल्प यू क्रिएट कंटेंट दैट्स व्हाट वी डू एवरी पीस ऑफ कंटेंट दैट वी क्रिएट वी try to ask ourselves a question like my team this is how we make content by the way it's exactly like you there are mm. five people in my team mm. they ask me random question there's a camera recording and i answer oh and okay. then so every week we sit for one hour in that one hour we record the entire session and usme se then my team my editors and my content strategists they ask themselves a question kya ye line is teaching something kya ye line is entertaining kya ye line is making relatable arguments and then they put out the content Mm-hmm. So by everything which you do or everything which you write, just think about these three frameworks and make sure that you your content you have a strategy to follow. It's relationship or topic based. Both of them works. One works faster. One works better.
whatever is your choice just go ahead with that got it so um so you know you know that there's an assignment that everyone's working on that they all have to become creators in 6 weeks right okay. and they can continue building that but 6 weeks is what they have hmm. uh, and a lot of them are working in teams right and you spoke about your team just now so how should uh, a creator led brand structure a team so how should a creator build a team or creator led brands i, I guess both either okay so let's talk about creator so you need to have a face one person who's a face That technically person is an actor. <coughs> That's all you need. Like, उसको ज़्यादा दिमाग लगाना, उसको script देनी, तो बोल भाई. That's it. Can, can there be faceless creators? There can be faceless creators as well, but it's harder to grow on the platform okay. if you're faceless. Right? But they're fa- if you're faceless, then you need damn good scripting or damn good editing. Right? That just makes it harder. This is a channel I follow. No, uh, Alux. So what they do is topic based content. They literally made a community. They say we only make content for next set of billionaires. Got it. And they talk about random shit like the top ten big opportunities in the world. All those Google articles which most of the entrepreneurs do, right? हम लोग जो Google पे ढूंढते हैं वो Alex देख देगा. Most of them is in reality doesn't work, but it's good to understand that Sanskar TV, right? Mm-hmm. So मजा आता है देखने में. So that's a channel you can look for. Low editing, low effort, but bomb good topics that everybody is interested in. They'll talk about. Top ten industries where billionaires have made maximum money in last three years. Everybody wants to know this, right? Like, ऐसा क्या दिखाऊँ जिसके पास ये बारे में है? Bro, you don't know the source of it. Yeah. You don't know the research behind it. You still want to watch it, right? You just feel because magically तुम्हें कुछ idea मिल जाएगा जो change कर देगा life. So that's that can be one angle. Second, now let's come to the team. So one is the actor, one is the script writer. So I'll tell you the job function also. What does the script writer need to do? Script writer needs to do one thing: just consume social media content twenty four seven. That's it. What is working? Why this video of Raj is going viral? Why this video of Ranvi is going viral? Why this video of Raj not working? Why this video of Ranvi is not working? Or any other person you want? Like why Saurabh Joshi is the most main main guy? Like you pick up a content niche. Be like, let's say, me go YouTube channel banana right? na. Shots banana, baaki sab bol jao. Chhaye vafte me to usi me growth aayegi. So six week growth होगा shorts पे just look at what are the shop shorts that are performing really well label or advisor करके एक channel है that is doing extremely well on shorts they're killing it then बहुत सारे editors होते हैं जो fan pages होते हैं fan pages बहुत crazy shorts पे grow करते हैं finance with Sharan wild growth on shorts wild so just look at the script writer का काम है उसका काम content ढूंढना नहीं है उसका काम है content consume करना because if he consumes twenty pieces a day which are working har 20 mein se ek ek line nikal di to 20 line ki ek script ban gayi jo bol dega tha right that's called research guys that's not copying <laughs> <laughs> so this have then you do script right then the third guy is your video editor and videographer right now this person's job is a prompter job not just a videographer job so prompter what i mean is this person going to ask you questions this person will come up with Random bullshit questions. कि तुमने so make like a customer avatar. You understand customer avatar, right? You guys know this. So make like a target audience avatar. And उस target audience की क्या क्या persona. So क्या क्या उसके questions होंगे? This videographer needs to be this one guy who just keeps asking questions. वो तारे ज़मीन पर वाला type आदमी है. Like because these are the extremely good at good people who are with creative angles and they have endless questions. So make them because the more questions they ask you about the content you're consuming, the scriptwriter is gonna get better ideas to write. Okay, so that's the prompter job. And then there's one guy who's a uploading and data person, mm-hmm. the, the one who understands numbers and data, the one who understands that which time to upload, which is good, which tags to add, which uh, titles are good, which titles are good, which SEO tags are good, which tags are good, right? And then together, everybody, this is like the cult, proper team which you wanna do. Then everybody. Needs to sit before go before making any video live and talk about just one thing. क्या इस title में ऐसी खौफनाक सनसनी type बात है कि नहीं है? Because that's what's gonna get you clicks. Your title is everything. Your timing is everything. The, the title and the thumbnail, thumbnail I guess. Thumbnail. It's it's crazy. Right? We were just talking about. I was telling like this morning to my co-founder, let's make an AI tool. Which can help people make like crazy thumbnails within minutes. Like yeah. 
so that was ctr improve karne mein help ho jaye but thumbnail and title is everything because if you can intrigue that uh, cue your like if you can you know make someone intrigued about your content with the two words it's 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 just perfect bang on okay now here's a strategy how i make content i feel just like we have ecg to find the pulse of a human being human heart beat similarly pulse of content creation is also ecg so the ecg is evergreen controversial and growth okay. so five pieces of content you meet you make evergreen something which is going to be relevant five years from now as well something which was relevant five years ago as well so like evergreen stock market for beginners fundamentals of picking a stock this is like evergreen content this will keep giving you views again and again second is controversial timing what were the top 3 stocks which rakesh and which made rakesh and wala a billionaire because he was trending recently right so you just need to be very cautious about the timing you should need to be like what's going on the facebook is gonna the indian government is gonna ban whatsapp there was a news like a while ago i uploaded a video i got to know about this news at 8 pm i uploaded it at 9 pm simple video hey what's up what's up this is 40 million views in 24 hours Everybody wanted to know कि क्या WhatsApp कल बंद हो जाएगा। And guess what? <coughs> उसमें मैंने बोला कि अगर ऐसी और news जाननी है, so follow me on YouTube because Instagram कल बंद हो सकता है। So I gained forty thousand subscribers also. <laughs> right, new subscribers which are not even following me. So the timing, so that's a controversial content. Like what is in in the news? What's going on in the world? Adani को loan क्यों मिल रहा है? Adani Ambani लड़ रहे हैं like. This I keep doing all of this because it's controversial. Zomato ko saath kya ho raha hai, right? And then third is your growth. So growth is whatever your niche is. You just build content around that niche to grow your small community. So let's say my community is I want to help creators become better business owners. I want to build an army of creator preneurs. How can we turn creators into entrepreneurs, right? So I keep creating niche content for them once in a while so that they are coming to my channel and they're liking my channel. Right. This will not give me views. This will probably, like you know, kill my average view time, view duration, and all of that as well. But still, I want to do this because this is going to give me a loyal community. Mm-hmm. So five is evergreen content, three are controversial, and two is growth content. This is what I do. This is easy. Every ten pieces of content, this is what I do. Interesting. So you spoke about Bharat a little bit, right? Yeah. So that's seventy percent of the audience, um, and that's regional content in regional languages. Um, so, have you started experimenting with that as well? I wanted to do that. We were thinking of building, figuring out Bengali, figuring out Malayalam. So, TTMK was our first channel, like oh, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada. That's the highest regional channel, right? Because the views you get there, the loyalty you get there, and the new people who are coming on board, it's wild. It's wild. like that's the I feel that's the new thing. People need to do that. Rashna Ranade is coming up with her Marathi channel. Ranveer is coming with his Telugu or Tamil channel. Everybody is doing that. I am focused more on my the startup which I'm building now. So probably I I kept this aside. Got it. I've hired a CEO in my content company. Mm-hmm. If that guy has a vision to build this, probably he'll build it. I'm gonna take aside and not do it. Awesome. But regional is the if you are if you genuinely see yourself as a creator and you want to make a big dent in coming five years or let's say five years to too much. Let's say in three years, then regional is the way forward. Right? Hindi we have a lot of potential. But I, Marathi has a lot of potential. Uh, Bengali is one of the highest watched consumed content. Punjab, Punjabi is highest engaged content. I was fascinated to know that highest consumed language regional is Tamil, but highest engaged language is Punjabi. The Punjabi people love engaging with their, uh, like with their regional content. The number of comments you get on a Punjabi post is wild. So think about it. Think about going it. So there are. I'll give you six languages because that's what I did. Because we were going to build F O into this. Oh, so Bengali that has massive upside. If you look at YouTube's largest creators who are vloggers and who have massive cult following, it's Bengali. <laughs> They're killing it. So Bengali content has scope. Then Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada, and Punjabi. These mm-hmm. are the top six regional languages which are giving, apart from Hindi and English, which are giving insane growth to people who want to grow their channels. Got it. And so you started this when? When did you start it? And you what year? Yeah. So I started putting speeches like five, six years ago. Okay. But 
I started record. I started putting content every day. This was June pandemic June like twenty twenty. Yeah, that's only been two years essentially it's since you. And that so I started regularly when I was on fifty k followers, and then from fifty k to here till up. And I was I had zero followers on Twitter, zero on YouTube, zero on LinkedIn, only Instagram at fifty thousand, and no podcast at all. So yeah. everything has just happened in like last two years. Got it. So in these two years, just take us through some of the mistakes that you've made, right? Um, that we should be warned against. One is I made a mistake trying to make highly produced content. It doesn't work. What does that mean? Highly like really curated, well curated content, highly produced content. Uh, it's high quality. Okay. High quality. Ki Netflix jaisa production hoga. <laughs> I tried to do that on the first set of podcast. So first, my podcast name was the Voices with Raj. Hmm. Okay. And uh, hmm. usme creators ko leke aata tha aur char panch camera aise proper record karta tha. And usko edit ho ke nikal mein bahut time lagta. And it had a proper formatting of like <coughs> OTT, mm-hmm. so that was the biggest mistake. People, when they go to, okay, I'll give a good insight, which I made it myself, by the way. So, you know how people watch their content. So when they watch OTT, okay, they're sitting, chilling in their room, mm-hmm. watching on the TV, mm-hmm. right? When they are, when they're using Instagram, this is how they're using. You know, they're watching, कुछ बात कर रहा है कोई WhatsApp आ रहा है, they're scrolling, 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 <laughs> right? And when they're watching YouTube, what they do is they sit like this. So just the angle from this to this and this tells you a lot about what kind of content you create. Here you want to make sure that your hook is first. Here you want to make sure that your story is first. Here you want to make sure that you're developing an entire stage first. So this is how you make content. So this was the biggest mistake I made. So on Instagram, when you talk about reels or shots, I was talking about. One of the biggest mistakes people make in the world is this, 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 and you should know. People have lost interest. Nobody wants to watch it. I need to be spot on. He's like, hey, for example, be like, hiring senior team member at the beginning is the biggest mistake entrepreneurs make. Now that's where I'm like hooked people up. Mm-hmm. Okay, hiring senior member to what bada problem hai, right? Hiring the right. So just think about how can you be direct when you're building shots. With YouTube, think about just tell people what's gonna come. You're like in this episode, we have talked about this, 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 so that people know like should I stay or no. And then when you talk about OTT and building the stage, that's when your coffee with Karan kind of step up. Mm-hmm. Like you get in, you introduce two people, then you sit, then you start chatting, and then you build an entire show. Then us kya end me rapid fire aata hai, mm-hmm. right? Instagram pe koi wait nahi kar raha, Instagram pe sirf rapid fire dekh. Mm-hmm. So you need to be very Cautious about this one thing. So in the beginning, I tried to like formatize the entire show, and because I tried to formatize the entire show, that was the biggest mistake I made. The second big mistake which I made was not paying attention to data. Like it's wonders what data can tell you. Not uploading on the right time can be one of the biggest killers. Never thought about it. Mm-hmm. Never. So you have you seen how many people understand YouTube ka algorithm ya kuch anyone? ओके सो यूट्यूब पे जब तुम चैनल इनसाइट्स पे जाते हो वहां पे ना टाइमिंग्स होते हैं और टाइमिंग्स वैसे पर्पल कलर के बाज होते हैं हैव यू सीन दैट एनीवन किसी ने यूट्यूब देखा आज जाके चेक करना सो जिस जहां पे सबसे डार्क बार आ रहा है ना दैट इज द टाइम यू नीड टू अपलोड बिकॉज़ दैट्स वेयर योर ऑडियंस इज एक्टिव द मोस्ट राइट दिस आई डिडंट नो आई वाज अपलोडिंग इट 12 पीएम ऑन संडे व्हाटएवर द ऑडियंस वाज दैट बिकॉज़ आई थॉट संडे को सब फ्री होता है तो देखेंगे 12 बजे पॉडकास्ट बट माय ऑडियंस वाज मोस्ट एक्टिव ऑन फ्राइडे 8 पीएम एंड दिस वाज लाइक अ फैक्ट आई थॉट इन इन द बिगिनिंग आई थॉट फ्राइडे को तो लोग मूवीज देखने जाते हैं 2 घंटे का पॉडकास्ट कौन देखेगा एंड दिस इज फेयर इनसाइड इन टाइम डोंट यू थिंक एवरीवन विल फिगर दिस आउट एंड एवरीवन विल स्टार्ट पोस्टिंग एट 8 पीएम बट फॉर एवरीवन इज डिफरेंट Okay. For every YouTube channel is different. For some people, it's gonna. So I'll tell you. Uh, so Ranveer and me, we work very closely. So we're friends. So for Ranveer, Thursday works the best at 9 p.m. Okay. For me, 8 p.m. Friday works the best. Mm-hmm. There's a channel. Uh, so Rachna Ranade for her 6 p.m. works the best. Right. Mm-hmm. Everybody has their different. For some vloggers, Sunday works the best. So mm-hmm. it's just who is your target audience and that audience at what time are they active? It's not gonna happen for the first hundred videos, by the way. फर्स्ट हंड्रेड के बाद का डेटा की बात कर रहा हूँ फर्स्ट फर्स्ट और कभी डाल देना सब चलता है सो देन दिस इज सेकेंड देन इज यूट्यूब वर्क ऑन थ्री मेजर इन साइट यूट्यूब प्रमोट एज एन प्लेटफॉर्म वो प्रमोट करता है जिसपे सबसे ज्यादा एंगेजमेंट हो 
जिसका सबसे ज्यादा एवरेज व्यू ड्यूरेशन हो और जिसका सबसे अच्छा सी टी आर दीज आर द्री प्रायोरिटी वाइज तो मेक श्योर दैट इन द बिगिनिंग ओनली यू आर मेकिंग पीपल कॉमेंट एंड एंगेज विद योर कॉन्टेंट राइट इफ यू वॉन्ट फास्ट ग्रोथ सो इफ यू लुक एट तनमय भट्ट वीडियो तनमय भट्ट स्टार्टिंग में बोलते थे वीडियो स्टार्ट हुआ है दो मिनट भी नहीं हुआ है एंड तनमय बोलते थे दैट लाइक कॉमेंट एंड डू एवरीथिंग राइट नाउ ओनली बिकॉज यूट्यूब फिर ज्यादा लोगों को बताएगा कि ये वीडियो अच्छा है एंड में तुम्हारे कॉमेंट की कोई वैल्यू नहीं है अभी करो कॉमेंट राइट सो दिस तनमय स्पीक्स आउट अप फ्रंट बिकॉज ही नोज दैट एंगेजमेंट इज एवरीथिंग सेकेंड इज एवरेज व्यू ड्यूरेशन सो यू वॉन्ट मेक श्योर दैट इफ यू आर पोस्टिंग वीडियोज वर्थ लेट से वन आवर टू आवर और लेट से टेन मिनट्स और फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से यू डूंग शॉर्ट्स एक मिनट के तुम शॉर्ट कर रहे हो और उसका एवरेज व्यू ड्यूरेशन जो है वो थर्टी सेकेंड है तो मेक श्योर दैट द नेक्स्ट शॉर्ट योर बिल्डिंग इज ओनली थर्टी सेकेंड तो एवरेज व्यू ड्यूरेशन जितना ज्यादा कंप्लीशन के पास होगा उतना ज्यादा यूट्यूब तुम्हें प्रमोट करेगा प्रॉपरली we make sure that the last word which we are saying is related to the first word bhai jab chalta hai yaar hasna yaar it works so this is when you do average view duration you're going to find out these insights and this is what going to help you get better that's the second point and third was ctr ctr is there's no harm in actually like you know using your sansani the mark to come up with crazy thumbnails everybody is doing it you can do i have some limits some people don't have <laughs> right they go ballistic india works on three things glamour spirituality and hinduism and patriotism okay and he creates only podcasts on them uske sare sare thumbnails ab dekhoge it's either glamour bollywood it's selling sex appeal second is your indianism very selling like army people coming up third is your extremely like uh, spirituality and then bhuto ke sath kya hota hai tumhare sath marne ke baad kya hota hai right and, and he does it so beautifully that he's not faking around like he gets into it oh, now yeah. like he he would not just come up and talk about horror story randomly okay he would get into it do mahine wo ekdam deep ja ke padhega sab वेदास गीता सब पढ़ के आएगा देन कंटेंट बनाएगा एंड ही इज लाइक ही नोस अबाउट हिज कंटेंट या ही हैव वेरी इंटेलिजेंट क्वेश्चंस वेरी राइट लाइक ही ही नोस अबाउट दिस स्टफ एंड देन ही टॉक्स अबाउट इट सो यू नीड टू चूज तो अब उसको पता है कि ये तीनों चीज इंडिया में चलती है इसकी वजह से मेरे थंबनेल्स बेटर होंगे थंबनेल्स बेटर होंगे तो सीटीआर बेटर होगा राइट तो सीटीआर बेटर होगा तो चैनल अपने आप बढ़ेगा सो यू नीड टू बी लाइक व्हाट यू आर बिल्डिंग यू आर बिल्डिंग निश यू आर बिल्डिंग मोर व्यूज यू बिल्ड व्हाट आर यू बिल्डिंग राइट एवरीबॉडी हैज देयर ओन थिंग सम पीपल हैज अ व्हाई दैट आई वांट टू बी the most followed person somebody somebody has a why that i want to be number one person some people have a why that i want to be the most known in my community so what's your why what's the reason based on that you can have your strategies so these are the three major Correct. things which work on youtube got it and so final question and then i'll open it up to the audience monetization mm-hmm. right uh, is it possible to become rich on youtube yeah 100% 100% come on <laughs> <laughs> it's it's 100% possible in fact i'll give you an insight if you have a niche channel which is dealing with high paying customers you end up making more than average like what moderately followed channels hmm. give you an example there's a friend of mine who has a sneaker channel sneaker channel okay hmm. 80000 subscribers that's it that's it the guy makes 1.5 crores a year through brand deals because when nike wants to launch their new edition or when let's say Yeezy is coming up with a new addition this guy says mera 80000 log hain but i still charge 10 lakh rupees for a video because he knows that all 80000 are sneaker enthusiasts and this guy came up with so there was a marketplace he uploaded that there are only 70 pieces of a shoe which was for 40000 rupees okay that got sold in 60 minutes it took that long <laughs> <laughs> But in sixty minutes, yeah. it's wild. Mm. I mean, YouTube upload video upload हुआ जितने लोगों ने देखा भी नहीं होगा सबने खरीद लिया. So yeah, very hardcore. There's another woman. 
she makes content on post pregnancy yoga she has that 25 30000 subscribers okay but she sells a course on post pregnancy yoga on the link of the youtube only and she makes more than a crore and guess what the funniest part she has never been pregnant herself <laughs> <laughs> she's not married even think about it but because she gets the women so well she has figured out a way to actually do all of these things that even on like a small channel under 50 50000 channel she's making more than a crore so you have to be sure like high paying niche or if you go broad so abhi one way to see how to make money every quarter look at what which are the highest uh, which is the industry where most of the startups are getting funded this i did during the pandemic i was never making finance content i started making because fintech started getting a lot of funding and i knew that fintech ko funding mila hai ye kharcha karenge mai ban jata hu channel right so started doing it and it's a fast strategy to make money right so every time so right now let's say if you'll see agro tech is getting a lot of funding if you see saas products are getting ye productivity tools are getting a lot of funding so mm-hmm. if you can build a channel around that you will get a lot of funds you'll mm-hmm. get insane money 